Hello everyone, and welcome to the Matter Career. This is Matthew Wayne. In this episode of Matter Career, we're revealing and analyzing the book Clayhouse, a Jack Sheard and Mystery Book 2, published by Vince Vocal in 2018. It is available on Amazon.com and is a self published book. Uh, given my rating at the end of the review, this will deal with a murder in a rough youth home. I will make a comparison to Boss Season 1 that I also review for this channel. If you want to stick around for this review, Please consider checking out my Facebook page to get links and check out the posts on YouTube and Patreon. I hope this episode inspires you to read, watch, and learn. I've also been posting links to my blog and my website, and you want to check that out. It is www.matacrypt.com slash blog. My blog will have the written portion of the review as well as the YouTube video being included there. Now on the review, the book starts off with the murder of Claire Pritchard, who was murdered by one of the boys who stayed at Clay House. Playhouse is an orphanage that housed all boys. This is not a co-ed orphanage. The boy is a man now that murdered Claire Pritchard. The case will lead Jack Sheard in all kinds of directions. This is a good thing that this book is not predictable. This book is like the first book that is written in parts, but Vince Vocal does it in days instead. You will start off with day one, and once the reader gets to the last day, the reader will finish the book. The chapters start with chapter one and it recycles. Each day it starts it off with the different day. This is not uncommon in current books. A reader would have to pick up Isaac Otto's books to find an author who writes like this. This is a cool writing style that this author decides to do. I like it when a book has parts where the chapters recycle back to one and is based on that. This book will help the reader understand what happens to Carrie after she dropped her son Tyler to live with Jack Sheridan. Jean, who is Jack's girlfriend, is taking care of Tyler when Jack is having to work as a detective sergeant for the London police. Jack Sheridan gets paired with Robert Britt Burrell, who is a detective inspector for Scotland Yard. The reader believes that Robert Burrell is a good, honest detective, but he is not. The murder of one of the victims at a skinned and lie leads the reader to Peter Townsend, who is in prison thanks to Jack Sheridan. Peter Townsend's hair was found in one of the victims. Peter Townsend later finds out from Jack Sheard and Robert Burrell that his wife is cheating on him. Peter Townsend later tells Jack Sheard and Robert Burrell that the man they are looking for is Joseph Crow, and that connection will lead to Clayhouse. Jack Sheard and his daughter Carrie is working as a prostitute, and she is neglecting her responsibilities as a mother. She claims that her son Tyler will be better off with her father and not with her. Carrie is using drugs. She later has an overdose, and Jack takes her to the hospital. Jack gave her his savings card because he wanted her to stay out the streets before she had the overdose. Carrie struggles with depression, and it makes it hard for her to deal with problems. This is common for that to happen, as it can be genetic, and Carrie's mother did suffer from depression. Jack Sheridan's daughter later gets taken by a bunch of crooks that are connected to a corrupt de detective inspector in the police department, and a wealthy business person. Jack later de must decide what he will do. He ends up stealing DCI Ha's badge to get a person who's a witness protection. No, Jack Sheer will not give these crooks what they want. He will trick the hitman to believe he has done this and set a trap for that individual. He asks the hitman, where is my daughter? The hitman does not know. He is given instructions to do this, then flee the country. Jack forces him to call the person who did this so he can find his daughter to rescue her. Jack ends up getting there and he rescues her. Internal affairs ended up being there and they shot the people that were holding Carrie hostage. The people that took her thought that Jack had pictures. The person who was doing this was a woman named Liz who was undercover as she was spying on a detective inspector who was in league with these criminals who took Jack's daughter Carrie. The book will have twists and turns. The people who were abusing these boys in Clayhouse wore masks as if they were just boys themselves, but they did this so they can avoid being abused. This will lead to those boys once adult men deciding they will take matters in their own hands. The person who decides to kill these people will skin them alive and it will lead the reader to a killer that is not expected. This is to get revenge, creating the killer's mind their own sense of justice. It's not to be revealed anymore, nothing will really be here. It does bring the reader to the climax of the story and set the third book in the Jack Sheridan series. As I told you before, any review of Miss Marvel Season 1 Episode 6, the climax means the culmination of the story. It is important to have the culmination to help the reader to get the answers or the viewer or listener depending on what media that person is focusing. Plot is important as well. If the plot is not good enough, it will make it hard for the reader to care about the story. The set is important as well as the reader needs to know where the story takes place. The time is important as does it take place in the past, the present, or the future. 
A good mystery must have twists and turns to be good. If it does not, it will fall short. A reader needs that to be so when it comes to that point. It will be what one expects it to be. I'll give you my rating. I give Clay House a Jack Sheridan mystery book 2 a 10 out of 10. It was fun, but the book has twists and turns. Excuse me. The people that end up getting murdered, the reader does not feel sorry for. Jack Sheridan is a protagonist as the reader can root for him. He is not perfect as he has clay feet, but he does his best to make it right. He searches for the truth no matter what he's searching for. This reminds the reader of Boss Season 1 where Boss was in an orphanage that he was abused at and he created a monster like Rainer Waits he faced in that season. Jack Sheridan does get answers to what happened between him and his old partner, Cole Baker. Jack had an affair of Cole Baker's wife, which was mentioned in the first part of the series. He is like Boss in that he does not believe that the rules do not apply to him, and that he will do whatever it must be done, rules or not. This makes him a fun character. Some rules need to be broken so that the answers can be found. I compare Boss to Batman, and Jack Sheeran does run close to that as well. Like Batman, he has a troll past, but he uses th that past to help him to find the answers that he needs to find. It was one of the detectives that told Cole Baker that Jack was doing this with Cole Baker's wife. This caused the fracture between Jack Stewart and Cole Baker. This book reads fast, and if a reader likes to read fast books, this is a plus. If they decide to make this book into a movie or TV series, I will say do it. It is a fun series that hits on hard issues, but it moves fast, which makes it perfect for doing a movie or a TV series for it. The only downside is is that it does not come with an audio version of the book, but it does not affect the reading that I still chose to give this book. It will help if one traveled or if one preferred to listen to a book instead of reading a book if it had it. That is all. Please go to www.magic.com to check out my website. You'll find links on there to other sites such as PayPal, Patreon, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Please consider checking out my merchandise that is available to buy gifts for low ones for victories or any special occasion. You can get cool merchandise such as this shirt that I am wearing on my site. The gift card is available to buy as well for birthdays or any special occasion. Going to my website is where you will find the link to my blog and want to check that out as well. If you feel you get a benefit from that, then please support me any way you can. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to Metacredit. This is Matthew Lee. In this video, we open a box that I just got from Merchandise. This was a Christmas present from my mother. This is my merchandise, so I'll show you what it will look like. It will come from a company called Hempy Hand Creators. You should be able to see a label right here that says that. Most content creators have them come from third parties. It will come from people like Amazon or Public to use as examples. I will now open the box. So, just give me a minute, because I thought I need to use a knife at first, but I did it. And here we go. Here's the two shirts. Okay, they come in a bag. There's the invoice you can see right there. It says the bag says rewatch and learn. Pretty cool. I didn't know what it would look like myself until I got these, so here we go. I'm gonna put this here, just put that to the floor. And now here are the two shirts I got. They're both what they're both white as you can see. And it says Here's one that says Matic Credit. This is a large. Okay, these are the type based shirts. Rewatch and learn. Let me, let's see how it looks when I put it over my sweatshirt here. I'm going to do that right now. I'm just writing them right now as you can see. Pretty cool. Looks like it fits. So I'll take it off. So let's see what the other one looks like. Here's the other shirt. It says Matter Critic. And get this unfolded. This is a medium shirt. It's another tight base shirt. Here we go. And I'm going to put it on. This one's probably a little tighter since I'm over lard. But heck, I can't even get it over me. So there you go. I'm glad you got to see the merchandise for my channel. Please go to w.maticrick.com and click on shop and buy your own set of merchandise to help support the channel it's today. You are supporting me as well so that it will make it easier for me to keep doing this. Thank you. Please check out my review of the first Jack Sheridan book, Cross the Bear, by clicking on this link right now. 
please check out a first light book review, which you want to check out by clicking on this link right now. Also would recommend for you to click on this link of playlist that is all the books that are reviewed by clicking on this link right now. Thank you. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell to be notified of any videos at the bottom of this video. Please let me know what we covered down the road in the comment section below. Please share this video with anyone you know. Thank you for watching. Remember, do not forget to read, watch, and learn. Please consider becoming a patron on my Patreon page by clicking on this link right now. Please sign up for YouTube missions by clicking the join button at the bottom of the video. Thank you.